in the last video we have discussed about the tapetum and we have also talked about the functions of the tapetum now the important thing is that how many types of tapetums are there so tapetum is basically of two types one is known as the amoeboid tapetum another is known as the glandular tapetum okay let's have a discussion on the amoeboid tapetum amoeboid tapetum is also called as invasive tapetum it is also called as the periplasmodial tapetum is it clear whether you can call it as amoeboid tapetum or invasive tapetum or periplasmodial tapetum now this type of the tapetum is only found in the primitive angiosperm it is not developed or advanced type of tapetum it is just in just the primitive type of the tapetum and found in primitive angiosperms now such type of the tapetum absorb all food from the middle layers as you know very well that food is stored in the parenchymatous cells of the middle layer okay so what does this type of tapetum do such type of the tapetum absorbs food from the middle layers so the middle layer immediately disintegrate after giving the food to the tapetum cells the middle layers will degenerate okay now in the beginning all food material is stored by the tapetum as soon as the tapetum absorbs the food from the middle layer cells then it stores the food material at first in the tapetum okay in the beginning all food material is stored by the tapetum now what happens that these tapetum cells which have stored the food now convert it into special food granules called as protoplast bodies means now that the absorbed food is converted by the tapetum cells into special food granules and that special food granules are called as protoplast bodies fine now the innermost layer of the tapetum dissolves now the innermost layer of the tapetum dissolves and release these protoplast bodies into the cavity of the microsporangium now inside microsporangium microsporangium is also called as a pollen sac the protoplast bodies are known as periplasmodium now the protoplast bodies in the pollen sac or the microsporangium are called as periplasmodium are known as what periplasmodium the microsporangium mother cell now definitely in the microsporangium what are there microsporangium mother cells are there so now that microsporangium mother cells are surrounded by the periplasmodium are surrounded by the periplasmodium are surrounded by the periplasmodium and provide nutrition to the developing microsporangium and provide nutrition to the developing microspores is it clear so this type of tapetum provide nutrition to the microspore after degeneration this type of tapetum provide nutrition to the microspores after degeneration and this type of tapetum is found in the typha elysima and tradescentia this is found in typha elysima and tradescentia are you getting so the first type of the tapetum is the amoeboid tapetum or the invasive tapetum or the periplasmodial tapetum it is primitive type of the tapetum such type of the tapetum absorbs food from the middle layers due to which the middle layers degenerate in the beginning all food material is stored by the tapetum very soon the tapetum cell convert this absorb food in special food granules called as protoplast bodies now the innermost layer of the tapetum dissolve and release these protoplast bodies into the cavity of the microsporangium which is also called as the pollen sac now inside the microsporangium the protoplast bodies are now known as periplasmodium in the pollen sac or the microsporangium microspore mother cells are filled that microspore mother cells are now surrounded by the periplasmodium and the microspores produced by the microspore mother cells 
are provided nourishment right by this periplasmodium clear so this type of the tapetum provides nutrition to the microspores after degeneration is it clear now second type of the tapetum which is the most advanced type of the tapetum or most developed type of the tapetum known as the glandular or the secretory tapetum it never degenerate quickly you have seen here that this type of the tapetum provide nutrition to the microspore after degeneration but this type of uh, tapetum never degenerate quickly it will degenerate but it will degenerate later but it never degenerate quickly now it absorbs nutrition from the middle layer exactly similar to the amoeboid tapetum this tapetum also absorbs nutrition from the middle layers why because the food is stored in the parenchymatous cells of the middle layers so it absorbs nutrition from the middle layer and secrete into the cavity of the microsporangia and secrete into the cavity of microsporangia and does not store what is the big difference here the food absorbed by the middle layer was stored in the form of special food granules called as protoplast bodies but here the nutrients which are absorbed by the tapetum from the middle layer are secreted into the microsporangium cavity and the uh, the food is not stored now before degeneration of the cells of the tapetum before degeneration of the cells of the tapetum the tapetum cells form special granules uh, in the cytoplasm of them known as the proubish bodies are you getting before degeneration of the cells of the tapetum they form special granules called as the proubish bodies in their cytoplasm now what happens these proubish bodies are transferred between the cell wall and the cell membrane of the tapetum cells you know very well a plant cell is surrounded by cell wall so these proubish bodies which are formed in the tapetum cell cytoplasm are now transferred between the cell wall and the cell membrane say for if this is a tapetum cell and if this is cell wall then this is what cell membrane so the protoplast ball or we can say it is so the proubish bodies are released here proubish bodies are released here now what happens here they are surrounded by sporopollen here these proubish bodies get surrounded by sporopollen say for if they have been surrounded by sporopollen so now their name is changed and now they are called as ubish bodies or orbicules okay at last means at very late stages tapetum degenerates and these ubish bodies are released in the pollen sac these ubish bodies are released in the pollen sac and remember that sporopollenin participate in the formation of the outer covering of the pollen grain which is also called as the exine okay and this type of the tapetum is very common and usually it is found in most of the flowering plants say for if i talk about the typical angiosperm known as the capsilla so in capsilla also this type of the glandular tapetum is found so glandular tapetum is also called as secretory tapetum it is advanced type of the tapetum it never degenerates quickly it absorbs nutrients from the middle layer but does not store them and directly secrete it into the cavity of microsporangium where they provide nutrition to the microspore but before degeneration of the cells of the tapetum before degeneration of the cells of the tapetum they form special granules in their cytoplasm called as proubish bodies these proubish bodies are now transferred uh, between the cell wall and the cell membrane of the tapetum cells here they get surrounded by sporopollenin when they get surrounded by sporopollenin their name is changed and now they are called as ubish bodies or orbicules at last tapetum degenerates and the ubish bodies are released in the pollen sacs where they form the exine of the pollen grains why because the ubish bodies have sporopollenin and sporopollenin participates in the formation of the outer covering known as the exine of the pollen grain it is most common type of the tapetum found in the capsella and majority of the angiospermic plants okay so this was primitive tapetum and this was advanced type of the
tapetum. So today we have discussed two types of the tapetum, amoeboid tapetum and the granular tapetum. In the next upcoming uh, video, we will be discussing with the development of anther, that how do the anther develops. Yet we have discussed the structure of the anther, but in the next video, we will be dealing with the development of the anther. So keep watching. Thanks a lot. Thank you.